Thank you for watching. You can support the body via Cash App or PayPal. You can also support the channel by joining our Patreon for exclusive videos and content that can't be found anywhere else. We're the Sons of Thunder. It's our heart's prayer and desire for Israel that they might be saved. Shalom. Come here, Shala. Come here, Shala. Shalom, everybody. Welcome to class. Hallelujah. Another Hallelujah. Sabbath. The Lord has blessed us again with another Sabbath. All praises to the Most High. All right. We are the Sons of Thunder. It's our hearts pray and desire for Israel that they might be saved. Khan? Khan. All right. And every week we have a Sabbath class at uh, 8.45 p.m. on YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash at SOT Israelites. That doesn't mean that we don't have more for you we have sot dc make sure you subscribe today youtube sot fort myers make sure you subscribe today youtube sot alabama make sure you subscribe to their youtube and when you call into the class make sure your phone is on mute all right we say that almost every single week i look forward to the day we do not have to explain that all right when you call into the class make sure your phone is on mute all right tonight's lesson is the history of susanna something not often taught and there's many jewels tucked inside there we're going to explore that then we're going to do q a because we did not do q a last week it's not we're not going to be on all night we're not here for a long time but we're here for a righteous time con all right so we're going to get right to it for everybody that came to class on time as we always do shalom sot soldier yaquaria shamika israel samara yasharala SOT Shalama, Yaparya, Aparyam, Yapa Aparyam, Shalawam. All right, to all our YouTube members as they file in. Brother Ariel, Sister Natiza, Soldier to Zaria, Jocelyn Edwards, Raheem Moore. Okay. Uh, Shalawam, uh, Makaza Yawath, Shalawam, welcome to class, Soldier to Rock. All right. That's right. We got new moon on the 12th, not this Sunday, but next Sunday we'll have new moon. Uh, if you wish to join the Sons of Thunder Israelites, uh, send us an email at sot israelites 
Salaki is not SOT Israelites. That would be too easy. Sons of Thunder Israelites, right? Right. At gmail.com, you're going to see it scrolling at the bottom. Make sure you send the emails there because they get forwarded to everybody. Okay. So wherever you at, we're going to find a new moon for you. Okay. And uh, if you're in Atlanta, we will be having a new moon. Make sure you RSVP because space is limited. You know, uh, we eat good. We worship uh, with all of our strength. Uh, uh, this week on the Patreon, we just dropped two new videos. We put the behind the scenes of the tabernacles, but the YouTube members also get that. So you want to be a YouTube member, just go to our channel, hit the join button. Watch any YouTube video, hit the join button if you're on desktop. If you uh, want to go directly there, all you got to do is just go to our home channel screen and uh, hit the community button and you'll see the uh, join option. We put behind the scenes videos, uh, extra edification videos, um, personal videos on there that you can catch, uh, especially on the uh, Patreon, which is patreon.com forward slash SOT Israelites. We put education PDFs. Mm -hmm. uh photos we got a lot of pictures up there from our last trip to alabama we went to go support the alabama camp mm -hmm. out there for the magic city classic there's a lot of great edification uh -huh. came out of that mate that's coming soon and if you want to see those things early or you want to see those things that don't make it to our our natural youtube channel we we hold them specifically for our alternative channels you want to uh, become a patreon member okay so that's patreon.com forward slash sot israelites all right um, I believe the link has been wrong in the description of our YouTube videos. It's been patreon.com forward slash sons of thunder Israelites. That's incorrect. That will not bring you to our Patreon. It's patreon.com forward slash SOT Israelites. I've been cleaning that up as I've been uploading videos. Uh, we got more camp videos coming and just more and more edification for the nation as we continue to put our brick in uh, because well, we are we are we are just happy to labor all right that's the joy of our life to do this work for the most high okay mm -hmm. so if without further ado shalom malak yawasap all right uh sister arma rashap manasa shalom yazabad man lawyer shalom all right as our members roll in mm -hmm. and i got something for malak yawasap if you a youtube member Go in the emojis right now. You're going to see something for the Northern Kingdom specific. <laughs> I added that. I told you I was going to add that. Spam that in the chat because we're going to start using that when we smack people with precepts. We got some That's debates right. coming. But this this is for Malak Yawasab, our Northern Kingdom brother. Spam that in the chat. I know y'all see that Chancleta in there. I know y'all see that Chancleta in there, man. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Yeah. The Chancla. All right? All right? Yeah, there we go. There we go. I told you I was going to do that. Who love you? I love you. You know what I'm saying? We have a good time with this word, man. So we got the white chair. We got the white chair in there for the precepts. Y'all got to figure out what the chunk line is for, when to bring it out. Oh, uh, they spamming it in the chat. They going crazy. They going crazy in the chat, man. They going crazy. That's what's up. Hold on. Let me get this going. Let me fix this. When we smack up that trinity that's what the chunk was for the chunk yeah. for the slap the chunk for slapping the, the for slapping the trinity shalawan warrior mike Allah, i got your shirt I... raheem moore shalawan oh they having too much fun <laughs> i'm gonna have to remove the it chunk <laughs> i'm gonna have to delete the chunk line now uh, why sot florida got the chocolate how he got it <laughs> how does he got it he, oh. he, he cheating how does he have it Make sure you follow that YouTube channel. You click him right there and you get SOT Florida, man. Make sure y'all follow that, man. You gotta subscribe. To I was watching uh, his videos earlier today. So, so this man done put us a, 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 a high heel. Nah, chill. Nah, nah, I, nah, 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 nah chocolate only, man. It's not gonna work. It's not gonna All right. Job, so, of it? course, I've been counseling B Golden. He got the chocolate. How'd he get it? How he got Y'all still, you're not YouTube members stealing the chocolate, chocolate for you. That that ain't that ain't the uh that ain't the authentic they, they Northern the Kingdom chocolate. Oh, they yeah. stealing it. Yeah. Hey, they stealing it for the iPhone, man. Yeah, that's yeah. the Walmart chocolate. They that's stealing the it for the iPhone, iPhone, man. That's the great value. Oh man. <laughs> so what? So what? Let them have fun, man. So we got the white chair. We gotta figure out what the chocolate is for, man. That's fine. That's specifically for Northern Kingdom. Yeah, you yeah. are not. In the ten tribes, you cannot use the can't chocolate. use the chocolate. Get off the chocolate, man. Y'all them get off of it. All right. 
Shalom, she is striving. Shalom, shalom. All right, everybody awake? We having fun? Yeah. Mm. Turn to page 109 if you got the red apocrypha, right? Page 109. We're going to look at the history of Susanna, man. I've been counseling a lot of sisters, and I've been working dedicated on... No, I can't say that. Israel, I'm supposed to get you a Pillars of Rest program. Sisters, I'm supposed to have a program designed specifically for y'all. Y'all supposed to be watching it. Y'all supposed to be in the Telegram. Y'all supposed to be taking exams and tests. Y'all supposed to be getting gear in the mail. Right. But y'all all has too much to do, and I can't get to it like I want to get to it. But it's coming. Yes, it is. Some of the thunder is... It's trying to get that to you. Please. I was about to lie and say I'm dedicated working on it. I'm dedicated thinking about it. Mm -hmm. But have I been working on it? No, because I've been trying to get the camp together, planning trips. We got a new moon coming. We got to balance the budget. We got brothers you know, we got to look after. We got the, the books to order, shirts to order. It, we got videos to cut. We got Patreon material, member material. It's a lot. Okay. So y'all know I'm the lead instructor slash media man so please please be patient with me sisters i have not forgot about you we have education tailored to your needs because we can't have the kingdom without you so we're going to put our brick in to teach something specifically for you the special daughters of jacob all right shalom i'm charles james uh so you know with that said we got a lesson that should be very uplifting and motivational for the sisters. Mm, yeah. But That's also cool. corrective for the brothers. And you're going to see. Yeah. You're going to see. Yeah. It is the history of Susanna. It's on page 109 in your apocrypha. Mm -hmm. All right. When everybody has it, say con. Con. Mm -hmm. We're going to read this account. We're going to go through this. We're going to get some precepts, and then we're going to take some questions, and we're going to shut it down. Me and the brothers, we're going to eat and um, unwind before going back to Woodruff Park. We had a week <laughs> off from <laughs> Woodruff Park, week man. Week Yo, you get a week off from Woodruff Park, then you go back, it's like that music. You know what I'm saying? We 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 cast in lots to see are we gonna be cursed out or is it gonna stink? What's gonna happen first? What's gonna or is it gonna be all three? What's it? It's gonna be a holy trinity. Yeah. We're gonna get cussed out. In the bushes. It's gonna stink. stink. Somebody's gonna threaten to kill us. Yeah. Is 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 it have to be this way? Mm -hmm. That's your luck. Ah, the burden of five points. That's that's how to be written in Body the kingdom. We get to go to camp. Uh -huh. we, get to go to camp. we don't have to go to camp. We get, get to go. To, that's right. That's the way to look at it. Get to, get to carry this. Now, if you are a member of Sons of Thunder Israelites, you're supposed to be on this class on the call. All right. Some of y'all act like y'all don't know that. I'm saying it because you're probably watching the YouTube. So I'm saying it to you. You're supposed to call into the class and you're supposed to take part in this education. All right. Shalom, Sister Stephanie. All right. So without further ado, it is 904 Eastern. We on page 109. The history of, Su of Susanna is set apart from the beginning of Daniel because it is not in the Hebrew, as neither the narration of Bell and the Dragon. These books do not appear in the Hebrew. All right. We know that Daniel is written in a different Hebrew script than the other books surrounding it that are in Hebrew. However, Bell and the Dragon and the History of Susanna are only found in the Greek and the Latin. We do not possess the Hebrew manuscripts of this. And the King James faithfully preserves that fact and reminds you of that. I love how the Bible is honest. Does that mean that it's not authentic and that it is not a part of our spiritual literature? No, because the History of Susanna coincides with Daniel. Mm -hmm. All right. It is another account of some of his mighty deeds and actions. Right. 
So, you know, peace in, uh, peace be upon that brother, come on, come uh, Daniel, who come was on. perfect in his days. Right. He was he was spotless without blemish. That's right. Right? That's um, right. The history of Susanna. Verse 1, read. There dwelt a man in Babylon called Joachim. He took a wife whose name was Susanna, the daughter of Chelsea, a very fair woman and one that feared the Lord. Because that goes hand in hand. See, y'all beauty is not the only positive aspect of what makes a woman. Now, in this world, it is. It's all about your beauty. You will alter yourself. You will put on pounds of makeup. Mm -hmm. You'll put on uh, uh, elaborate costumes. Right. Because the outward appearance is what the world seems to say is where the woman's value comes from. And then you got to watch all these blogs and shows as women boast about being scandalous and uncouth mm -hmm. and doing their best impression of a man that they can do who is a lascivious, mm -hmm. basically a womanizer. But they are the female version of it, right. you yeah. know, because girls is players, too. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. That's the vibration that the earth put out. And our sisters began to go towards it, just like the earth put out the vibration of drug dealer, gangster. Mm -hmm. and, and our young men who wasn't even from that environment right. became that some of them Somehow, became it, yeah, yeah. actually joined gangs and killed niggas like mm -hmm. to prove that, hey, you know, I'm tough, too. Mm -hmm. it, and that's the vibration that the world puts out. But with the, the vibration of the scriptures is based on one thing. Do you fear the Lord or not? Right. Right. Yeah. That's why I said she was a very fair woman and one that feared the Lord. That is different than just a fair woman. Right. Shalom cannot adopt. Shalom John Allen. Shalom. Someone who fears the Lord versus someone who who doesn't is what the Bible's standard is holding you to. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. Because her her beauty, as the scriptures say, is like a jewel in the nose of a swine mm -hmm. a fair woman without discretion right. is like a jewel in the snout of a pig mm -hmm. the pig is disgusting but it got a diamond in his nose does that change the fact that it is it's disgusting no. and it is the same thing for our sisters mm -hmm. all right i see our members are rolling in shalom everybody all right when them badges turn gold i got a great announcement for y'all read on her parents also were righteous and taught their daughter according to the law of Moses. Come on. Now Joachim was a great rich man and had a fair garden joining unto his house. And to him resorted the Jews because he was more honorable than all the others. So the Jews respected him for being an honorable man. Mm -hmm. So they resorted to him. They would keep company with him, right? He was more honorable than the others. The people that were surrounded were unscrupulous individuals and we about to see that. S.O.T. Josiah, Shalom. Now, it's very important that the father taught the daughter according to the law of Moses, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. right? Yep. Teaching your daughters is, we was talking about this in Alabama. Mm -hmm. Some of you yeah. men yep. are not the man you want to be mm -hmm. because of that woman that you with. He was teaching this. That's deep. Some of you brothers want to be a completely different guy, but you're scared to lose that woman. Mm -hmm. So you become the guy that she want because you want to keep her. And therefore, you never reach your great potential, right? Because Joachim is recorded in the text for perpetuity. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you're not going to be there because you're hiding your light under a basket because of that woman that you're with. Mm -hmm. You're afraid to lead her because you don't want her to leave you. Mm -hmm. So you're not educating your children according to the law because she's not into it. This is happening all over, mm -hmm. all right? Uh, you must stand up and do what's right. Read verse three again. God, her parents also were righteous and taught their daughter according to the law of Moses. That's the key. See, y'all think I'm going to stop at every verse and explain every verse. No, you'll skip past this yeah. and go to the meat and potatoes of the account because it's interesting and it goes into detail. But you skip this. This is the key. This is what made Susanna so special. Yeah. But guess who got the honor for that? Her parents. Mm -hmm. Before we even get into the account, her parents had to be honored because they taught her right. Right. Mm -hmm. So y'all gonna have to make y'all decision how you gonna raise your families, these babies being born, how they gonna be led? Are they gonna be led by social media and my friends? Or are they gonna be practicing Hebrew Israelites 
And that's the way I'm raising them. These are choices you got to make because it's very easy. Ah, we don't got to be that strict. We don't got, ah, ah, wait, read that again. Verse three. Her parents also were righteous and taught their daughter according to the law of Moses. The Bible said they was righteous. I have no record of Joachim and his wife sinning. I do not find that. Right. It's not recorded. The only thing that's recorded about Joachim and his wife is that they was righteous. My if they righteous, are they sinners? No, right? Her parents were righteous. Parents were righteous. So right. both of them, right? right. Mm -hmm. Read on. Now Joachim was a great rich man and had a fair garden joining unto his house. And to him resorted the Jews because he was more honorable than all others. The same year were appointed two of the ancients of the people to be judges, such as the Lord spake of, that wickedness came from Babylon from ancient judges who seemed to govern the people. Come on. These kept much at Joachim's house and all that had any suits in law came unto them. Now, when the people departed away at noon, Susanna went into her husband's garden to walk. Now, if you can imagine in the old world, you have something called the Agora. Let's let's show that to the people. Right. When you look at the Agora. Right. It's a main chief place. OK, I'm going to get you all some images of an Agora because you got to understand when it says that people kept company at this man's house. you got to understand the old world. Right. Especially where these people are living. Let me get a nice image. This is a Corinthian image of the Agora. OK, somebody type that in the chat. A-G-O-R-A. -A, so the people can look it up. All right. Y'all see that? This is an Agora, not here. That's a stadium. This is obviously a theater. If y'all can see my mouse on the screen, this would be your temple, your place of worship. But you see this area right here to the left that I'm circling? Y'all can see my mouse moving? Kind of one. See that area right there? Mm -hmm. That's your Agora. Nice. So this would be the main, the main house where the rich man lives. These are also houses where people could live, but, you know, of different wealth classes. But this would be the main house of the rich man. And then this area is like his porch or promenade. It's off the beaten path. See how this is the street? Mm -hmm. But then you could come into here and, you know, you have so much land. It's not just for you, yeah. how we do it. And these, and these designs, the people can flow through. See how all the roads walk through somebody gonna yeah. walk past your house right. see that and see and, and see behind it too yeah. so this is your agora mm -hmm. so imagine this is the area that the people are keeping company they come in the whole court we're gonna go up to job kim's place he's a righteous man we can go gather there it's a good place to be mm -hmm. right but the ancient judges from uh babylon they started to frequent that area right mm -hmm. out of respect the person for joe kim Mm -hmm. right? right now they kick it over there right i'm trying to give y'all a visual oh, he's that guy. He's so y'all can understand guy. what you are uh, looking at mm -hmm. right read on Con. verse seven now when the people departed away at noon susanna went into her husband's garden to walk and the two elders saw her going in every day and walking so their lust was inflamed toward us. I mean, I got to bring this back because it's like, you think, you thinking how you live, okay? Her husband's garden would be a place that everybody can go to, mm -hmm. right? So now how do you visualize that area? Kind of like this area over here, right? That says, that's open. See how the roads lead to it? Almost like a little park. See how the roads lead to it, but then they can bring you out here. Then you could go. Or well, we go to the stadium or we go here through this way. Mm -hmm. so it's like a little park, mm -hmm. right? But it would be, of course, this diagram is not to the spec of Joel Kim's house. It's an example of the old world. But you can see he probably had it off to the side yeah. where the people could see it. Yeah. And then they could, they could, they could, uh, you know, enjoy the garden. But you could also see other people in it. Mm -hmm. So these pervs are watching his wife walk through that area. And of course, she's beauty. Uh, her beauty is strong. Israelite woman mm -hmm. is powerful. The most beautiful woman in the earth. Right. So they they love was kindled like a fire. The Bible says that love is kindled like a fire. Okay. Gross. Read. 
and they perverted their own mind. And did what? Perverted their own mind. And? And turned away their eyes that they might not look unto heaven, nor re remember just judgment. So mm -hmm. earlier this week, I was challenged I by a person who believes that all nations can be saved. And he took a scripture and said in Psalms 1917 that everybody's going to be punished, especially those nations that forget God. And his argument was, if the nations are going to be punished for forgetting God, that means that they once knew him, which means that God is dealing with them. That was the way he put it together. Mm -hmm. Right. I showed him that that was not the case. And those nations are the Goyim of Ephraim or the uh, the multitude of nations that he was going to become, that the Israelites would become. Mm -hmm. Right. I showed him in Hosea that, you know, he will forget our children because we, we have forgotten him. Right. right? right. I showed him in Amos that. Israel is the only family he ever knew anyway. And of course, Psalms uh, 147 and 19, we're the only people that ever got his judgments, right? Mm -hmm. You think he accepted that? Mm -hmm. No, of course not. But this verse could lead you down to the same rabbit hole because wait a minute, these Babylonians looked up to heaven and forgot the judgments of Yahweh? It don't say that. Uh, judge, judgments permeate uh, cultures. Mm -hmm. The Egyptians had a law, thou yeah. shalt not commit adultery. Mm -hmm. Right? You think the Babylonians didn't have that law? Yeah. The Persians had that law. When we teach Purim, what happens when Haman was sitting on Artaxerxes' wife's bed? What happened? He was offended at that's that. Right, that's right. That's right. <coughs> he that's said, right. You, he said you're trying to force my wife. Mm -hmm. Because that's a taboo. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. So the just judgment would be to stay away from another man's wife. It right. is not saying that these men, what? Knew the law, statutes, and commandments. Read on. God. Now that and, doesn't mean if you're in Jehoiakim's promenade, well, as for me and my house, we will follow the laws of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, according to the law, he would have the law in his gates. Exactly. Right. Exactly. So now you got to keep the commandments that I keep to be around me. Yeah. That's something else to take into consideration. Mm -hmm. Read. And albeit they both were wounded with her love, yet durst not one shoe another his grief. Come on. For they were ashamed to declare their lust. That they desired to have to do with her, yet they watched diligently from day to day to see her. And the one said to the other, Let us now go home, for it is dinner time. Mm -hmm. So when they were gone out, they parted the one from the other, and turning back again, they came to the same place. And after that, they had asked one another the cause, they acknowledged their love. So they was both creeping. <laughs> yeah, they funny. was both creeping, right? <laughs> well, what you doing here? Why are you here? Oh, you see her. I see it too. I see it too. Tell oh, yeah, it's serious. Man, it's serious. Man, serious. <laughs> right? Yeah. And then they admitted to each other that, well, mm -hmm. I want to do something to her. But what are they admitting? I want to rape her. Mm -hmm. I want to force her. Mm -hmm. The guys are sick, man. Mm -hmm. Read on. Yep. Then appointed, it's like then appointed they a time both together when they might find her alone. And it fell out as they watched a fit time. She went in as before with the two maids only, and she was desirous to wash herself in the garden, for it was hot. And there was nobody there save the two elders that had hid themselves and watched her. Then she said to her maids, bring me oil and washing balls and shut the garden doors that I may wash me. Mm -hmm. And they did as she bade them and shut the garden doors and went out themselves at privy doors to fetch the things that she had commanded them. But they saw not the elders because they were hid. Now, the place of washing is going to be behind doors. Mm -hmm. So you can walk in the garden. People can see that. That's no big deal. You don't have to hide yourself. But when you go to the place of washing, uh, obviously there's privacy, mm -hmm. right? Well, these dudes is hiding in the damn bushes. Yeah. Right? And they got a plan. Read. Now, when the maids were gone forth, the two elders rose up and ran unto her, saying, Behold, the garden doors are shut. That no man can see us, and we are in love with thee. Therefore, consent unto us and lie with us. That's two men. That's two men telling a woman, We love you, lay with us. But you know what's so sad? Look how appalling that is. Mm -hmm. But there are women that are boasting about getting paid to do this as their occupation. Look at the man Joe Smith, the great basketball oh, player. Man. His wife. Yeah. Yo, what? Yo, his wife <laughs> eclipse is it is an eclipse. His wife is boasting 
about doing pornographic material on OnlyFans. Crazy. And arguing with see, him. And she, she doing it to get attention for that oh for that page too. No, she wants attention for the page. She not hurting like she yeah. need to do that, right? Or they no, not gonna not. make their bill. No, but she, she tried not. to infer that because yeah. guess what? She already on the podcast. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's two thousand and twenty three. Podcasts are the new talk radio. Yeah, mm -hmm. nobody's really listening to the radio because we hate commercials. Yeah, yeah. and we hate the same five songs fifteen times a day. For three months, yeah. so people not listening to the radio like that no more. Funk that they're not listening to the radio no more, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Now we had XM radio, but I gotta pay for that. I don't feel like it. Mm -hmm. Then the business model changed. YouTube is free. Mm -hmm. All I need is internet. Well, that turned into well, we gotta fill a gap of media. Now you got all these podcasts. Podcasts is really just talk radio, yeah. That's it, right? Yeah. Now all these podcasts need content because these people are not creative. They don't have spiritual material like the Israelites to bring you day in and day out. They don't have that. No, right. So guess no, what we're going to have to talk about? We Let's talk about finances and money. Well, I'm too stupid. I don't know about all of that. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Well, let's talk about music. Ah, I can't compete with the, pe the professionals who discuss music, mm -hmm. whose opinion is more relevant, mm -hmm. and can actually get the artists to come in who want to hear me talk about why I think this album is good or bad? Right. Hmm. Let's talk about relationships. Uh -huh. Ah, so that's why you have so many relationship podcasts because there's a void that mm -hmm. these people fill. Yeah. And it doesn't matter who you get that from because yeah. these people so are not relationship experts. Yeah. By, 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 by any stretch by of the means, yeah. right? But they're relatable because they come from the same walk of life as you. Right. So now, they found a niche. Mm -hmm. So now you have these people who otherwise that nobody cares what they think. They should have no opinion. It does not matter what you're talking about, lady. Right now they have a platform like Jada Pinkett Smith. Yeah, I put Smith on the end. Somebody said something really wise to me about her. They said Jada Pinkett is not missing Tupac. And she doesn't want to humiliate Will. She's just mourning her youth. Mm -hmm. I never thought about that. That's yeah, a lot of these women. I said, damn. Now I, I hear it and see it a whole nother way. Mm -hmm. She didn't reach Will's potential as greatness mm -hmm. for the actress accolades, even though she did some good movies. Mm -hmm. Jason's Lyric, well, Set It Off. Boy, was it Boys in the Hood or Boys in Menace the to Society? Menace to Society. No, Boys no. in the Hood. She was with Cuba Gooding Jr. It was no, no, Menace to Society. No. It was definitely Menace to Society. Fix it in the how chat. Much, how much on the bet? Fix it in the oh, chat. It's a savage. Y'all lucky. Was it Menace to Society Boys or Boys, Boys in the Hood? It wasn't Boys in the Hood. Who was she with? She was with Kane. Is what in Menace to Society? Dark skin yeah, blood. Dark skin. Mm -hmm. They got yeah. shot up to go to Atlanta. Yeah, and he died. Boys, I don't think they know the people are are. She was, Nia Long was Nia, Nia, Nia Long was in Boys in the Hood. Look, look at you. He's yeah. cut. I'm cut. He's cut. Yeah. But these are great movies. But you know, Damn. the accolades are not flowing, yeah. and she did not. She did not continue to make movies. Mm -hmm. You know, for whatever reason, it could have been health, or it just could have been people don't want to work with her, or it could have been, it could have been her work ethic. I'm not putting that on it. I'm saying could. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Right? I'm being right. fair. Yeah. Somebody said she's just mourning her youth, man. This is her opportunity to be right back in the front and people listening to her. So she'll do it at the expense of will. That's sad. And what a perfect time to do it. Too. Yeah. When people care about this stuff and it's, it's interesting. Eat that up, right? Mm -hmm. So I digress. What I'm saying is that's the nature of people nowadays, man. So now you're looking at this situation. This woman is being found alone and she wants to wash herself. And these two dudes are saying, you got to lay with us. Mm -hmm. Now you got Joe Smith's wife on podcast who she should have no opinion as an adulterous woman, as a fornicating woman, as an, as, as a, as a jewel in the snout of a pig. Mm -hmm. She's on there talking about how Joe Smith's washed up and nobody cares about him anymore. So I got to do what I got. Wait a minute. <laughs> He's a retired oh basketball player. God. He made it to the league. He achieved something that 
1% of humanity could right. achieve. He did it. Right. And the best you got to say is nobody wants him anymore. So I got to do what I got to do. Come on, lady. I That's made cool. the executive yes. decision. When well, here's some crazy she told him. That's crazy. She tried to justify herself. She said, you know who you got with before. You knew who I was before you got with me. And, and what is that supposed to mean? What is that supposed to mean? That's that means crazy. that I reserve the right to be a hoe. Oh, right. I'm supposed to... Hell, These is know. older women. These women are older. And we were saying that Alabama, Jada, use a hoe. Use a hoe. August Alcina is your, one of your son's friend. Bro. Uh, imagine bro. if Will Smith got with one of Willow's friends. Oh, he would be man. called a uh, they pervert. They were crucifying him. Man. Yes. What? And that man, this, August Alcina, gay. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> when you talk it out, like when you verbalize it and really talk about what's happening, it's crazy. Like when you when you just watch it, it'd be like, damn, that's bug. Bloop. But like when you ver open your mouth and say it out loud, the reality of it is crazy. All <laughs> a, a, a woman that want a woman that has no one is in a mansion. Trying to justify herself making sexual content to her husband. Like she's gonna use that money to pay bills. Like that's why she's doing it for. Like, Stop, lady. Ah, and lying. now, but guess what? She's so happy that people are subscribing to that OnlyFans. And and, now, and Joe Smith, yeah. you don't have verse four, or mm -hmm. like verse three of the history of Susanna. Mm -hmm. You don't have that because when she said that to him, you knew me when you met me. What what what? He didn't even know what to say he didn't back. Know what to say back? That to that so that don't that don't that so that would end that would end like that's a man that doesn't have the words to articulate righteousness. Is it? That's sad. Read verse three again, man. God, verse three. Terrible. Her parents also were righteous and taught their daughter according to the law of Moses. This is the only way to keep whoredom out of your families. This is the only way God. to keep wickedness out of your family. I know what you're thinking. I can know about the truth. I could not eat pork. I could put on a dress. I could put on fringes when I'm around these people. But regularly, I can still be worldly and it's going to be okay because I'm not that worldly. I know what you're thinking. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. You're going to raise a hoe. You're going to raise a stupid Negro. Mm -hmm. Facts. Your you, husband, I know what you're thinking. I, I, know, the, I, I know that Bible. Mm -hmm. I know, I know it. I know it. I know it. I know it. I be with them guys. Yeah, they know me. Hey, hey, at y'all, at y'all, you know me, right? Mm -hmm. But you're not telling your wife the law of Moses. Right, 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 right. You have to be a teacher. So now, what do you think she's going to dev and turn into? You going to backpedal? You're going to be back in the world or she's going to backpedal and go back in the world and then threaten you and say, hey, you know, I'm not happy with this life. And if I can't do the things I used to do, I don't know if I could do this. And then that's going to put you in a bind. You got the kid. And and, and that's the way it go, because you got to keep the laws of God paramount and center. That's right. And you got to teach the babies or else how do you expect them to? They're going to grow up according to the way the music directs them. Mm -hmm. You can't fault. Uh, Sexy red. She's just a less talented little Kim, right? Mm, that's a fact. That's it. Little Kim was talking the same. Mm -hmm. She was just more talented and had metaphors, and mm -hmm. you had to think about it. Like, oh, that's nasty, but <laughs> I had to think, right? right. She, this lady, is just blunt, pregnant on stage, just being lascivious, yeah. right? Yeah, that's crazy. But yeah. you can't be mad because we, it's in every generation. But the only thing that's going to get you through is verse three. Read it again. God. Her parents also were righteous and taught their daughter according to the law of Moses. It's the only chance you got. It is the only chance you got. Uh, uh, or your daughter is going to open her quiver to every mm -hmm. arrow. Mm -hmm. The only way she's not going to do that is you got to be righteous and teach her the law. Now it's between her and God. When she goes off, mm -hmm. she's looking at God like, I'm going to do this and I'm not in fear of you. Mm -hmm. She can't say well, I never took it that serious because you didn't. Mm -hmm. Right? Right. Read on. Come on. Verse 21. Verse 20. Behold, the garden doors are shut, that no man can see us, and we are in love with thee. Therefore, consent unto us and lie with us. Come on. If thou will not, we will bear witness against thee, 
that a young man was with thee, and therefore thou didst send away thy maids from thee. Now that's what it means, thou shalt not bear false witness. Right. Bearing false witness is not the same as, it is a lie to bear false witness, but lying is not always a false witness. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I I'll say it again. It's a lie to bear false witness, but all lies aren't false witnesses. Right. A false witness is when you say you saw something that did not right. happen yeah. mm -hmm. or when you stand against the blood of your neighbor. You uh, you consent that someone has done something when you did not see them do that. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. right? Mm -hmm. We got to stop the false witness. You accusing right. brothers of stealing. You accusing brothers of womanizing. You accusing brothers of... Uh, uh, breaking the commandments, mm -hmm. you you're witnessing against him. Mm -hmm. That's the same. You can't accuse him of it because you think, brother. Mm -hmm. You can't accuse him of it because somebody you respect said he did that. Mm -hmm. Right. That's a false witness. Mm -hmm. And a false witness is a sin, mm -hmm. right? And the people who bear false witness are liars. And you are blocking yourself from the kingdom. Go to Revelation 22 and uh, 15. Mm -hmm. See, we just talking about this real quick because they bore false witness against Christ. Yeah. All the all the um all the uh Pharisees was bearing false witness against Christ when they said that this man maketh himself equal to God. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because Christ never taught that, right? And you didn't hear him say that, you deduced that. That in itself is a false witness because you're wrong yeah. and you bring in charges against somebody. Right. And the law says the judgment that you want for that person when you wrong should come upon you. Mm -hmm. A lot of y'all, a lot of y'all, Captain Mike, how is going on? <laughs> These guys crazy. A lot of y'all is bearing fun. You know, we can see that on the computer, <laughs> Captain, where you type something. It comes up on the computer. <laughs> a lot of y'all is bearing false witness. On the Israelites. Right. Because you're saying we teach hate. That's a false witness. Mm -hmm. We do not teach hate. We teach the Bible. Right. We teach the laws of God. That's a false witness to put us on your hate group list. Right, right. Definitely. And, and, and a lot of y'all say the Hebrew Israelites are violent. Right. That's a false witness. Mm -hmm. yep. Our brothers up in Chicago was just teaching the scriptures. Right. The Palestinians was violent towards them. Mm -hmm. yep. Hitting brothers with poles and throwing bottles. Mm -hmm. Threatening to stab brothers with hypodermic needles. Yeah, we got you. Mm -hmm. We got it on record. We got screenshots. We know what you're trying because y'all put it on social media. And that's why yeah. what we're going to do, we don't want on social media. <laughs> you cannot bear false witness. Give me Revelation 22 and 15. These are the people that don't make it to the kingdom. Con. It's the book of Revelation chapter 22. And verse 15, it says, for without our dogs and sorcerers and whoremongers and murderers and adulterers uh, so like, and idolaters and whosoever loveth and maketh a lie. These are the people that's not going to make it to the kingdom of God. Yep. Whosoever love a lie and the person that makes it. What are they doing to Susanna right now? They're making a lie. They crafted it. Read it. Read their craft. If thou will not. We will bear witness against thee that a young man was with thee, and therefore thou didst send away thy maids from thee. The Most High not dealing with that, man. Mm -hmm. The Most High is not dealing with that, right? Captain uh, Yaquab says, there be three things that mine heart feareth, and for the fourth I was sore afraid, the gathering of an unruly multitude and a false accusation. Mm. accusation. All of these are worse than death. Yeah. I, I've been there, man. Brothers made all types of accusations against me. It's, it, it, when I came into the truth, they did it more. Mm -hmm. You know, more brothers, brothers just coming with this and that. They don't understand how you're making it. So they start coming up with ways and mm -hmm. ideas and then they start murmuring. And then the murmur becomes a, a, a witness against you like it actually was ever true. true. Mm -hmm. And then brothers don't even say sorry after. God. They just want you to let it go. That's right. what you or you're wrong. Cause you're whole, and I'm brother grudge. holding grudge. Yeah. Holding grudge, brother. No, shake my hand now. Yeah, no, nah, that no. Nah. We ain't brothers. See, that's and that, bro. and that's why it's wicked. It's wicked to, to be wicked. wicked. Wicked, right? Well. Read on. Then Susanna sighed and said, "I am straightened on every side. I'm confined. For if I do this thing, it is death unto me. I'll I'll die for 
uh, commit adultery against my husband. Mm -hmm. And if I do it not, I cannot escape your hand. But how does she know that? Because her parents taught her the law of Moses. Mm -hmm. She know better. Read. It is better for me to fall into your hands and not to do it than to sin in the sight of the Lord. Which one of you sisters? Because when times got hard for Joe Smith's wife, she on OnlyFans showing come her on, womb. Man, come on. Uh, Are you going to trust the Lord? It's crazy. Which one of you sisters, man? When your family didn't like the Hebrew Israelite stuff, you put the clamps on your husband. Remember that, sis? Uh, when 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 your husband had to change his job because of the Hebrew Israelite stuff, you told no, my lifestyle. But which one of you sisters is gonna say I'll die before I go against the Most High? Because that's all that you care about. Where are you at, you pillars of rest? Mm -hmm. Read on. With that, Susanna cried with a loud voice, and the two elders crowd out against her. Then ran the one and opened the garden door. So what she did was she said, kill me. Mm -hmm. You got to kill me. Mm -hmm. So she screamed. Mm -hmm. And what did the Bible say about a woman crying out? Mm -hmm. This sister know the law. Mm -hmm. Let's go to Deuteronomy. Right. Cold, Let's go. You miss it when you read it too fast. She know what she doing. Why, you don't, why you don't need the law of Moses? Right. Mm -hmm. Right. On, Go to Deuteronomy chapter 22. And 23. Gone. This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 22 and 23. That ain't the one I want. Mm. Mm. I think you want. Uh... Yeah, because it, it goes on. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Get it, get it, get okay, it. Yeah. Got to trust myself. Deuteronomy 22 and 23. If a damsel that is a virgin be betrothed unto a husband, and a man find her in a city and lie with her, then ye shall bring them both unto the gates of that city, and ye shall stone them with stones that they die. The, the, the damsel, because she crieth not, being in the city and a man because he have not humbled. So because like, he hath. Because he hath humbled. From, from here. Come. Because he hath humbled there his neighbor's go. wife. So thou shalt put away evil from among you. If any man find a betrothed damsel in the field and the man force her and lie with her, then the man only that lay with her shall die. Why? But unto the damsel thou shalt do nothing. There is in the damsel no sin worthy of death. Come on. For when a man rises against his neighbor and slayeth him, even so is this man. This is the Bible teaching you that to force a woman is like if you killed her, mm -hmm. if, if you murdered her. Read on. Come. For he found her in the field, and the betrothed damsel cried. She did what? She, she cried. cried. So you can't use the latter verses to say because if you lay hold on her in verse 28, yeah. that that's advocates that you can force a woman because right. it just finished telling you, right. you can't yeah. force a woman. Right. So lay hold on her means captivate, enthrall, yeah. capture, bag her, you got her, right. you, you, you got you, you fish for her, you caught you a nice one. Yeah. That's all it means all because you can't force her. So Susanna, read verse three. Mm. Verse ah. three, ah. her that's parents weird. also were righteous and taught their daughter according to the law of Moses. So why you think she raised her voice and yelled? Because mm -hmm. she knows something. Because if she don't cry and they force her, she's still wrong mm -hmm. because she cried not. That means right. she, consented she consented to it. Right. But the fact that she cried out made her blameless according to the law. That's right. And how your daughter going to know to move like this? How your daughter going to avoid drinking that Mickey at that party when them dudes is passing drinks around? Mm -hmm. Why is she there? You got to teach her the law of Moses. This is the right. only way to protect your daughters. Exactly. Because once they understand that this is between me and God, mm -hmm. and it's not a fantasy idea. Some of y'all women, some of y'all do this because of who around you too. Like, you only in the truth because your husband care about that. You don't really like that. You just pleased to dwell. Don't be that sister. I'm going to tell you this. Satan will create a situation out of the air just for you. Mm. And then and then, what you need to do to keep you on a righteous path is have that moment just between me and the Lord. Mm -hmm. If I sin, nobody's going to see this, but God will know. 
And am I comfortable disrespecting the Lord? Mm -hmm. When you get to that point, sister, you're going to change. And then the Lord going to start dealing with you. Y'all hear me talking, but you know. Mm -hmm. All right, read on. Okay. Read on. Verse 24. 24. With that, Susanna cried with a loud voice, and the two elders cried out against So when she said, ah, they said, hey! Uh -huh. <laughs> read. Yeah, then ran the one and opened the garden door. So when the servants of the house heard the cry in the garden, they rushed in at a privy door to see what was done unto her. But when the elders had declared their matter, the servants were greatly ashamed. And there was never such a report made of Suzanne. So they had a private door that they come in and they came in and then they was like, what's going on here? And then the elders was like, we seen her with a young man. And they were ashamed of how could you move like that? They ain't never heard. Like, you, you ain't never act like this. Give before. me two witnesses. How could you move like that? Oh. And I'm going to talk to you about this two or three witnesses. You know why I got to talk to you about two or three witnesses? Because Israel will get two to five witnesses because they just don't like you. Yeah. And say anything. These niggas will do this. I'm telling you. I got brothers calling me. It, I'm always just talking about myself. I got brothers calling me saying they're going through it right yeah, now. Niggas got five six. witnesses against me. I ain't even do that. Mm -hmm. They just don't like me. They want to move me out the way, man. Right? Keep it down. So now I'm like, that two or three witnesses, that isn't the law of Moses, but people take advantage. Mm -hmm. Read that law. God, this is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 17 and verse 6. Come on. At the mouth of two witnesses or three witnesses, Shall he that is worthy of death be put to death? What the New mm -hmm. Testament tell us? Under two or three witnesses under the law of Moses, a man could die. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what you think they felt when they saw these two respected older men say, we saw the young woman with a man and he ran out of here. That's two witnesses against you. That's hard. Mm -hmm. And that's why it's evil to be evil because brothers have come together and, and well, because he said it and because he said it, I'm going to say it too. Because why would they lie? You can't do that. You better have them receipts. And when the receipts come out, <laughs> brothers and brothers don't want to say sorry. So just don't say nothing. You shouldn't have did that. You just shouldn't have never did that. And, and, and remember what the law says. If that man is found lying, whatever punishment he had in mind for that man that he bear a false witness against, that punishment must be done unto him who bear false witness. And brothers so, ain't trying to keep that law. So if you're not judging that correctly, you are in violation of the law. And then you currently found a sinner. Mm -hmm. But may the Most High have mercy on you and may Yahweh's grace cover you anyway. God. We pray for those who persecute us and despitefully use us. That's yes? Right. That's what it say. That's what it for says. those who persecute you and despitefully use you. You got to pray for them. And, and I accept. I accept. Because mm -hmm. you help brothers and they tear you down later. Because they got their own plans. And then, you know, there's a domino effect of, of negatives that come into your life. And you can become bitter against them. And you can become hateful and, and carry that with you. But that makes you wicked. Mm. And that's why we say it's, it's wicked, wicked to, to be, be wicked. wicked. Don't do that. Don't do it. Go to your brother himself. Talk to him and find that out if you write about that. Stop being a coward and coming up with a plan and trying to make it foolproof and saying we, we can't lose if we do it like this because the most high gonna fix you exactly. especially if you got the receipts mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. read read on and it came to pass the next day when the people were assembled to her husband joachim the two elders came also full of mischief mischie, mischievous imagination against susanna to now, put her now they start throwing more on it <laughs> it wasn't enough the first thing they got more yeah read and said before the people Send for Susanna, the daughter of Chelsea, Joachim's wife. And so they sent. So she came with her father and mother, her children, and all her kids. This woman got kids. She's a mother. They don't care. No. Nope. Read. Now, Susanna was a very delicate woman and beauteous to behold. So that means Susanna wasn't all out in the front. Bit, bit, bit. Ah, rah, rah. This is a feminine creature. Mm -hmm. This is a female. This is a delicate creature. Mm -hmm. All right. Something very desirous to behold because of that delicacy. Right. What the Bible say about the uh, the true Israelite woman that she's yeah, so I delicate. She won't walk barefoot on the sand, man. But you got these women out here opening their mouth against us and they pride. 
You got these women out here, one liquor bottle in their hand, uh, a, a blunt in the other hand, That's right. lifting up their voice. Crazy. You got these women out here doing this with their finger in yeah. your face. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thinking that's the way to carry on. You got these promiscuous women sitting on these couches with a microphone in front of their face, talking about how 30, 40 men they've been with. You got uh Britney Renner trying to oh, justify Lord. to me that she's been with 50 dudes and I'm weak because I don't like her for that. I don't want to marry her because <laughs> is that a delicate woman? Definitely not. She's she's, she's throwing around. That's why the Bible wrote it like that. She's a delicate woman and beauteous. To behold, her beauty is an extra. Right, mm -hmm. that's a plus. The spirit of the woman is what the Bible is commending. Right. Somebody don't like that. Read. And these wicked men commanded to uncover her face, for she was covered, that they might be filled with her beauty. <laughs> it's crazy. Therefore, her friends and all that saw her wept. Then the two elders stood up in the midst of the people and laid their hands upon her head. Come on. And she weeping looked up toward heaven. For her heart trusted in the Lord. And? and the elder said, as we walked in the garden alone, this woman came in with two maids and shut the garden doors and sent the maids away. Then a young man who there was hid came unto her and lay with her. Then we that stood in the corner of the garden, seeing this wickedness, ran unto them. And when we saw them together, the man we could not hold, for he was stronger than we and opened the door and left out. But having taken this woman, we asked who the young man was, but she would not tell us. These things do we testify. Come on. Then the assembly believed them as those that were the elders and judges of the people. That's respect the person. Right. See, mm -hmm. and that's why it's evil, because y'all can follow a multitude to do evil because of who's sending you to do it. Mm -hmm. Why would he lie? Right, yeah. Yeah. Why would him and him, they are elders, them too. Those are elders. Why would they lie on him or her? So I got to go with them because why would they lie? Yeah, ah, <laughs> right? It's a SpongeBob mom. Be because, be because niggas is simple. You need facts, man. You need facts, man. Right. Right. Ask for receipts. Instead of, instead of, Jumping on a bandwagon and forgetting somebody who was always gracious. Forget mm -hmm. your friend. Forget your brother or forget your sister. Just because they said it. <laughs> right? And then you, you end up following them and following them where? Right back to where you started. Because yeah. it's only the, the source of the righteousness is only in one place. Mm -hmm. You're not going to find it with wickedness. Mm -hmm. You found that? Uh, All right, I know what it is. Uh, read on. So they condemned her to death. Then Susanna cried out with a loud voice and said, O everlasting God, that knowest the secrets and knowest all things before thee, they be. Thou knowest that they have borne false witness against me. And behold, I must die. Whereas I never did such things as these men have maliciously invented against me. And the Lord heard her voice. Therefore, when she was led to be put to death, the Lord raised up the Holy Spirit of a young youth. Come on. Whose name was Daniel. Say what? Whose name was Daniel. Come on. Who cried with a loud voice, I am clear from the blood of this woman. Why? Then all the people turned them toward him and said, what mean these words that thou hast spoken? Yeah, like why? What you mean? What you talking about right here. So he's standing in the midst of them said, are you such fools, ye sons of Israel? Yes. The sons of Israel are such fools because yeah. they believe it because they said so. Right. Why would they lie? So I got to go with them. Right. Read. That without examination or knowledge of the truth. Did you examine the truth? Right. Understand first, then mm -hmm. rebuke. He knows the law. Mm -hmm. Read on. You have condemned a daughter of Israel. And you condemn a daughter or son of Israel. Mm -hmm. You foolish sons of Israel. Israel, we... We know all these scriptures, but we never use them. We yeah, only we use them to destroy people. We don't apply them. Brother calling me saying, oh, these brothers coming against me with this, that, and the third. These are my friends who ate my bread. I said, yeah, it'd be like that. Yeah. David went through it. You're going to skip? <laughs> Christ went through it. But the brothers that's doing it, it's like, yo. Mm -hmm. And then the brothers that's following, it's like, what? Examine that first. You, mm -hmm. Matter of fact, 
even America says innocent until, until proven, proven guilty. guilty. Yeah. Damn. Damn. Even the even Esau know that. Sad man. <laughs> Read on. Return again to the place of judgment, for they have borne false witness against her. Come on. Wherefore all the people turned again in haste, and the elders said unto him, Come sit down among us and show it us, seeing God hath given thee the honor of an elder. Basically, you speaking in the midst of mighty men, similar to Elihu in the book of Job, mm -hmm. chapter 31, where he spoke up uh, uh, concerning some things that Job was saying when Job was going through his trials. There's a young man. He said, I kept my he was silent for 30 chapters. Yeah. I didn't say nothing. I let Bildad, Eliphaz. And who's the other one? Bildad, Eliphaz. It's, it was three comforters. Who knows it? It was Bildad, Eliphaz. I gave you two. Who's who's Job's other comforter? Bildad, Eliphaz. I'm looking in the chat. I'm looking in the chat. I want to know is Zophar. 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 Bildad, Eliphaz, and Zophar. Right. Well, Elihu was there for the whole thing, yeah. but he didn't speak because he was a young man. Mm -hmm. So that's why they're saying this. You know, it's not common for the young man to speak in the presence of older men. Mm -hmm. But what did it say about Daniel? Jump up and read why Daniel spoke. What did the Bible describe him as? Can't, read that up. Verse, uh, verse 42. Then Susanna cried out Hello. with a loud voice. 45. Oh, okay, verse 45. Therefore, when she was led to be put to death, the Lord raised up the Holy Spirit of a young youth whose name was Daniel. So he couldn't hold his peace. Mm -hmm. He could not stand at the blood of his friend right, right, right. or his uh, his brother. Right. Even though she's a woman, that's, a, that's our brethren. Mm -hmm. He couldn't stand for them to kill her unjustly, so he spoke up. A lot of people won't do that. A lot. I, I've had that happen to me where brothers knew mm -hmm. it was wrong, and then I turned to them like, yo, say something. I, uh, I don't know nothing about that. Yo, man, it's crazy. Read on, man. Then said Daniel unto them, put these two aside, one far we from another. We got to stop, stop, stop. Yeah. Read. Then said Daniel unto them, put these two aside, one far from another, and I will examine them. Come on. So when they were put asunder, one from another, he called one of them and said unto him, O thou that art waxen old in wickedness, <laughs> now thy sins which thou hast committed aforetime are come to light. For thou hast pronounced false judgment and has condemned the innocent and has let the guilty go free. Albeit the Lord say, the innocent and righteous shall thou not slay. Mm. Now then, if thou hast seen her, tell me, under what tree sawest thou them com company together? Now remember what's at stake here. What did they want to happen to Susanna? Read verse 41. Verse 41. Then the assembly believed them. And as those that were the elders and judges of the people, so they condemned her to death. That's what they prescribed for her. Mm -hmm. Go back where you was at. Now then, <laughs> if thou hast seen her, tell me, under what tree sawest thou them company together? Who answered, under a mastic tree. And Daniel said, very well, thou hast lied against thine own head. For even now the mm -hmm. angel of God hath received the sentence of God to cut thee in two. Damn. So he put him aside and commanded to bring the other and said unto him, O thou seed of Canaan and not of Judah, beauty hath deceived thee and lust hath perverted thine heart. I struggle with this verse because is he really a Canaanite or was he insulting him mm -hmm. to call him that because he is a Judite, right, right. but he could have been a Canaanite. You're dealing with Daniel. You're dealing with people from Babylon. Daniel was one of the judges and the wise men amongst the people. He come into contact with all the nations that would be in Babylon. He could be saying that. But what would be the significance of saying it unless he was trying to say that, you know, we just better than you. Mm -hmm. Or if he was really trying to cut the man saying, you know, you're one of these wicked devils and you're not even one of us with this behavior. Yeah, right. Right? God. right. So this verse is... Uh, Controversial because brothers will teach that these dudes are Canaanites, they were Hamites. And then it's like, well, in its context, Daniel very well could have been just insulting him. And the scripture in uh uh the, the beginning pages it says that among the elders of the people were made judges. 
So one can infer, like it was saying, of the elders of the people of Judea, right? These men were raised up, but these were wicked men. Now, now that same verse five, because we'll discuss the whole thing. Mm -hmm. It says that there were appointed two of the people to be judges, right. such as the Lord spake of. Mm -hmm. That wickedness came from Babylon, yes. from ancient judges who seemed to govern the people, meaning they were perverted by the, by the Babylonian, Babylonian mm -hmm. around them. Right. Yeah. Right. So yeah. one could say that in verse 56, he's insulting the man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. One could say that. All yeah. right. Can, that one thing about Sons of Thunder, if the Bible don't teach you, we don't say it. Right. So we have to teach it like that. Right. It could be, very well be a Canaanite. But in its context, it seems to be an insult. You right. understand? Right. Read on. So he put him aside and commanded to bring the other and said unto him, O thou seed of Canaan and not of Judah, beauty hath deceived thee and lust hath perverted thine heart. Thus have ye dealt with the daughters of Israel and they for fear company with you. But, but the daughter of Judah would not abide your wickedness. Look at how difficult that is. He's done that Look at how difficult that is. You've dealt with the daughters of Israel, and they, for fear, have company with you. Mm -hmm. But the daughter of Judah would not abide your wickedness. Right? Mm. So either he's done that before, or he's saying, you've those the, the maidens that came out, mm -hmm. you got them to cooperate what you were saying, possibly. Mm -hmm. You got to think about it like that, because you can't be for certain for certain. You got to use wisdom. Yeah, the Holy Spirit. Right? right. So it could very well be that he's an Israelite who he's being insulted. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the daughters of Israel that for fear have accompanied with him is those maids that came through the privy door. You understand? Mm -hmm. Read on. Now, therefore, tell me, under what tree didst thou take them company one together? Who answered under a home tree? Then said Daniel unto him, well, that has also lied against thine own head. For the angel of God waited with the sword to cut thee in two, that he may destroy you. With that, all the assembly cried out with a loud voice and praised God who saved them that trust in him. Read. And they arose against the two elders, for Daniel had convicted them of false witness by their own mouth. And what? Read this. And according to the law of Moses, they did unto them in such sort as they maliciously intended to do to their neighbor. Now, go to Deuteronomy 19 and 15. Let's find out where that is. So this is the book of Deuteronomy chapter uh, 19 and verse 15. It says, one witness shall not rise up against the man, nor any iniquity for the sin, for any sin. If any sin that he sinneth, at the mouth of two or three witnesses shall a matter be established. Go ahead. Said 19. If a false witness rise up against a man to testify against him that which is wrong, then both the men between whom the controversy is shall stand before the Lord, before the priests and the judges, and which be in those days. And the judges shall make diligent inquisition. This what your elders in Israel is for. Yeah. Y'all supposed to make a dip. Y'all not supposed to take nobody's side because right. they said it. Right. And we want these guys right. to see us as great elders. Let, this is a great opportunity to bring these guys. with. And all of them is the wrong motivations. A, a elder judge is supposed to do a diligent, a diligent inquisition. Mm -hmm. Now what Daniel did. That's right. What tree you seen them under? Mm -hmm. What tree you seen them under? Niggas is lying. Or oh, you don't have your facts straight. It don't have to be so drastic. You don't have your facts straight. Oh, you, oh, oh, he did what? You said that brother did what? Let me see your proof. That's why we always mm -hmm. just let people talk. Wait, what, what you mean? What you mean you can't prove it? Just you know. Mm. Nah, bro, get out of my office. Come back when you have proof. And you should have had that in the first place or else why are you raising this report? Right. That way it got to go. Right. And then also them same judges can't hit the exit when they bring the charges against the brother mm -hmm. and then the evidence come out and it is not so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they gathered you to go bring a charge against the brother, but now you must turn to them. Mm -hmm. 
Now judgment must be ruled against y'all for what y'all have done. Mm -hmm. Or how they gonna become better? Right. Right. You gonna leave them like that? No. You gonna make them feel like, ah, I couldn't get them that way. Let's try another way. Right. Or they gonna learn, yo, I'm wicked as hell for moving like that, man. I gotta grow up. Yeah, to be ashamed. Right? Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Read on. And the judges yeah. shall make oh. diligent inquisition. And behold, if the witness be a false witness and have testified falsely against his brother from here, huh? then shall you do unto him as he thought to have done unto his brother. That's the law. Whatever these people that made this false witness called for mm -hmm. against the person they falsely witnessing against mm -hmm. should happen to them. Yep. That's what it says in history of Susanna, verse 62. That's, that's what it says in Deuteronomy 19 and 19 through 20. That's right. Am I right? That's right. Go ahead. So shall I put the evil away from among you. Just like you said, now they got to think about their actions. Mm -hmm. right? And then mm -hmm. that's going to, that's going to, now do I want this same embarrassment that I received, that I was trying to put on another brother? Mm -hmm. Do I want this same judgment that I was trying to falsely put on this brother? Mm -hmm. No. So guess what I'm not going to do again? I'm not about to raise no false right. report. And I'm definitely not about to call for a judgment against somebody. Yeah. Right. Because that's, that's some nerve. Mm -hmm. Some nerve. You understand? Right. That's why these dudes got to die. Yeah. Read on. And according to the law of Moses, they did unto them in such sort as they maliciously intended to do to their neighbor. And they put them to death. Thus the innocent blood was saved the same day. Therefore, Celsius and his wife praised God for their daughter, Susanna, with Joachim, her husband, and all the kindred, because there was no dishonesty found in her. Come on. From that day forth was Daniel had in great reputation in the sight of the people. Well, isn't oh, that goodness. the report of the man Daniel? That's right. Let's go to the book of Daniel. Isn't that the report of the brother? Go to Daniel chapter 1. Amen. You could do verse 17, but it's before that. Uh, verse uh, Sorry, verse 11. You can do verse 4 first. Copy. Book of Daniel, chapter 1 and verse 4. Children in whom was no blemish, but well favored, and skillful in all wisdom, and cunning in knowledge, and understanding science, and such as had ability in them to stand in the king's palace, in whom they might teach the learning and the tongue of the Chaldeans. Now, why did he have the ability to stand in the king's palace? Because he has great wisdom. The Holy Spirit was inside. Mm -hmm. And it's governed by the law. Y'all spend a lot of time teaching us to put the law, statutes, and commandments down yeah. when everybody that's great in the Bible was an expert in the law, statutes, and commandments. Mm -hmm. yep. People that don't know the law is telling us not to do it. Mm -hmm. that's, that's the right, average right, person right. we're talking to. is somebody that don't know what's in the law. Yeah, the average cool. person we're talking to is telling us not to do it, and they don't know the law. But everybody right. great in the Bible was an expert in the law. Like, at least know the law and then be like, don't do it. You can't. Yeah, you it can't. don't work like that. Because once they learn the law, they're yeah. going to realize that I can't say right. what I've been saying right. because it would be a sin. Right. And Christ never sinned, so he couldn't say that. Mm -hmm. And Paul can't say that. And right. Peter couldn't say that. Why was I saying that? Apostolic right. secession, believing in the traditions of men, skillfully sidestepping the laws of God. Exactly. Clear as that, man. That's the history of Susanna. If you've never read it uh, with any understanding, I hope y'all enjoy it. All right. Come. It's 10 o'clock. With that, what we're going to do now, as we do every week when we have time, we're going to make the call Q&A. Q&A session has started. You logged in the right way? All right. So if you have a question or a comment, while we got this window open, you can call that number at the bottom of the screen and become a part of the class. All right. If you are a YouTube member, you can ask a question in the YouTube comments and we will take your questions as well. And then we're going to pray. So at the end of this, we send up the Lord's Prayer in the Hebrew. OK. And if you would like to be a part of that, you can also call that number at the bottom. All we ask is that you mute your phone. Must mute your phone. Okay. Uh, it's not on. Like the yeah, lights on the lights. side are on. Two seven six. What's your question or comment? Two seven six. Shalom, Marwa. 
on. God bless you, Mr. Lord. Um, God bless you, Mr. Lord. Um, I, had a, I had a quick question about um, Moses being what they would call, like Christians I've seen on video, they would call him like a murderer or whatever. Moses? I was wondering if it was a priest. Yeah, they yeah, they call Moses a murderer? Yeah, say, say he murdered the Egyptian. He murdered the murderers. So they do it Wait, to- why is he a murderer? Because I guess he was supposed to let his brother get abused and beat on. Well, let's go to the account. Yeah. Go on. Oh, Call yeah. it. Exodus 1. No, Exodus uh, 2. No, Exodus uh, 2. Yeah, Exodus yeah, 2 and 11. This is the book of Exodus chapter 2 and verse 11. And it came to pass in those days when Moses was grown that he went out unto his brethren and looked on their burden and he spied an Egyptian smiting a Hebrew. Come on. One of his brethren. And he looked this way and he looked that way. And when he saw that there was no man, he slew the Egyptian and hid him in the sand. And this is why they call our good brother Moses a murderer? Right, God. I'm going crazy. You read Exodus 2 and 11. Kind of yes? Mm-hmm. Let me ask you something. What comes after the Old Testament in your Bible? The New Testament. And what do Christians say that they follow? <laughs> They mostly follow the New Testament. What does the New Testament say about what Moses did? Go to Acts chapter 7 and read verse 22. This book of Acts chapter 7 verse 22. And Moses was learned in all the wisdom of the Egyptians and was mighty in words and in deeds. And when he was full 40 years old, it came into his heart to visit his brethren, the children of Israel. Come on. And seeing one of them suffer wrong, he defensed him. He did what? He, he defensed, defensed him. him. Did the Bible defensed say him. that Moses is a murderer? Does the New Testament say that Moses is a murderer? Wow. Read it again. And seeing one of them suffer wrong, he defended them and avenged him that was oppressed and smote the Egyptians. How do the apostles describe what Moses did? His brother. They don't describe it as murder, do they? So how could a Christian do that? He would have to speak against his own Bible. That's a weak. That's a weak position. Weak. Terrible. Uh, precepts. That's terrible. Go ahead. That's crazy. I didn't. I this, didn't know the, one. this is the book of Sirach, chapter four and verse nine. Deliver him that suffereth wrong from the hand of the oppressor, mm-hmm. and be not faint-hearted when thou sittest in judgment. That's a great precept. Yo, that's a yo, that's a hard precept because that's a great precept. You're not even supposed to be afraid after you do it. Yep. If you get caught and you have to face the judgment, hey, bang your hand for a second. Hey, don't even be afraid. Mm-hmm. Don't be, be even be afraid of, of the punishment that you might receive of this world because you didn't allow your brother to be oppressed. Mm-hmm. You're supposed to stand staunchly. Why? Because you have fear for the Lord. Yeah. Hey, Amen. That's that's a manly precept. God. It's a great scripture, yes. God. So you understand, Ock? That's what you say, man. Anything else? Nah, that, that was all off. I was just looking for a specific precept because you know, like they had to say, like uh, King David was an adulteress, but we have yeah. They put it in the memes. Yeah. Noah was a drunk. Abraham was a liar. You can't get around yeah. this. Hey, you yeah. can't get around this, brother. No, they say Jacob was a liar. They accuse Jacob of lying. Hold on, let me talk to him. You can't get around this, can you, brother? Acts 7 and 24. Oh, God. I, I knew the priest of Acts 7 and 22, but I didn't read it how you just read it. So, the water breath. There you have it. The apostles tell you who, when the Muslim come with Muhammad is from Deuteronomy 18, 18. Apostles don't believe that. See, the apostles tell you what they believe about the law in right. the Bible. Right. They tell you. That's Christ. It say that. Sit, and it's the same way. Moses, Moses is a murderer. Where say that at? You don't say that. He defended his brother. Y'all understand? Good. That was the only question on the Q and A. I'm gonna go ahead and end the Q and A. Ah.
Oh no, I th- that's you, Kai. That's, that's you. I thought it was somebody else calling. Yeah, no, no. yeah, that was the only question on the Q and A. Um, let's go to the YouTube. Levitic. Let me get this. Dinah Yehudi. Is the most high only referring to natural fabrics like cotton, wool, linen, or man-made materials like polyester, nylon, etc. as well? No, because remember, you you had to wear armor. So brothers would have bronze mixed with leather, mm-hmm. right? It ain't talking about that. It's it's about go ahead, Levi. What right. is the law? It's like it's, it's talking about um linen and wool. Yeah. Uh we go go ahead and read it. Well, I'll, I'll read it. I'll go ahead. And no, read I can it. get it. Okay. Leviticus, Leviticus 19, 19. It's the book of Leviticus chapter 19 and verse 19. Ye shall keep my statutes. Thou shall not let the cattle gender with diverse colors. So in this same law, you're not supposed to allow uh, uh, different breeds, different species of cattle to gender with other species. You're not supposed to mix them. Because think about it. When you make a sacrifice to the Lord, mm-hmm. that sacrifice has to be what? Without spot, Without and, spot blemish. and blemish. What yeah. happens to a lot of times? So the white cows, the solid blacks got to right. mate with solid blacks, the whites with whites, the browns with browns, right. the, the muddled with muddled. Right. Don't be mixing them all up. Because what happens a lot of times in breeding animals, when you crossbreed them, they come out with different mutations. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Read on. Come. It says, thou shalt not sow thy field with mingled seed. You're not supposed to be crossbreeding Crops, right. not supposed to do that. Esau does that a lot, yeah. Yeah. right? They be having like a, a hold tree. on, brother. They be having a tree they, with yeah, all yeah. type of stuff on it. You got a tree that got plums, plums, apples. but it's a half plum, half yeah. peach. Yeah. No, man, you you're not supposed to cross gender your, your seeds. Read, come. It says neither shall a garment mingle with linen and woolen come upon thee. And you're not supposed to take linen and woolen. And put it together. Uh-huh. Yeah. So you're not supposed to take your linen and your wool because what were the priests wearing? All linen. Pure the priests linen. Were, were, were wearing pure linen. Yeah. This is what they're commanded to wear when they come into the tabernacle. So what's being commanded into, into the children of Israel is not to make linen and wool and put it together. Mm-hmm. Those two things are you not to put together. And most specifically, the priests are to wear fine linen. Mm-hmm. So you're not putting on a mink. And wool with a fine linen. No, the Lord said your dress code is linen. This is what you're gonna wear. So that's what it's talking about. Kind. Would you would you would you break that down and say, um, uh, like plant plant material and mixing it with animal material? No, 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 kind. No. Now we got Jeff Benayam Usley. who who sent us ten. Thank you, the water brother. He said Shalawam. I heard many brothers bring out that Muhammad was killed by an Israelite woman. Yeah, I heard that too, heard that, too yeah. that he was poisoned. Yeah, poisoned by his, 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 his uh, wife. wife. Is there any Israelite. scriptural or historical source to prove that? Keep up the great work. You would probably have to get it out of the Hadith. Yeah, it's in the Hadith. I, I can't remember which one it is. But I, you're not going to have scripture because the Bible is closed yeah. Yeah. by the time Muhammad comes on the scene. Well, he means surah. That's probably what he means. That ain't scripture. Yeah, but that's nah, that's no that's rap lyrics. Yeah. But look, check this out. <laughs> is there any surah? No, it, it is in hadith. Yeah. I'm not sure if it's narrated, might be, I think it is. and we will look into that for you. And next week, we will have that hadith for you. Right. Um, if historically, the evidence is gonna that, that's the thing. Yeah, <laughs> talk about that. Historically speaking. You don't have a lot of evidence of Muhammad. You don't at all. That's what's crazy. You got a chain of narration, but that's really what the Bible is supposed to be. Right. And they compete with that. That is the competition between Muslims and Christians. Right. Our chain of narration is unbroken. Right. So our word is more trustworthy than yours, which falls apart when you examine the Quran. Yes. And it is bad. It's it gets bad. But we're not going to do that tonight. But that is the answer to your question, Jeff. It is possible, but we will find a hadith for you and have that for you next week. We wasn't prepared for that question this week. Um, all right. All right, but we closed the call. Did you just call in? Uh, yeah, I just called in, brothers. All right, well, we'll take it anyway. Go ahead. This last question of the night, then we're going to pray. Go ahead, bro. Hey, shalom, brothers. I do appreciate you taking my call. 
Um, my question is about the sabbatical year. Um, I hear the term getting thrown around to where it's like every seven years you ain't supposed to work, but um, I haven't found a scripture that's... Do y'all know a precept for that? Like, you talking about Jubilee? You talking about the year of Jubilee? Oh, for certain. Um, well, yeah, I know about the year of Jubilee, but like the one in Exodus uh, 23 and 11. Let's look at it. Like, uh, every seven years, not to sow your fields, and then there's another oh, one. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so you don't overwork. No, no, no. That's resting the land. Yeah, you're giving the land rest. So you're going to have a crop every year. Yes. You're going to have a, a feast of in gathering mm -hmm. every year. You're going to have a feast of first fruits every year. Mm -hmm. But quite naturally, you're depleting the soil. Yeah. Okay. So there's a law in, of God that says give the land a year to rest. Mm -hmm. Don't till it. Let the let it rest right. and lie still. What's going to happen? All of the stalks of your corn is going to crumble and fall to the earth. All, all your produce, that's the echoes of your crops that's coming up little by little, the extra tomatoes and peppers and all the things that's growing, they're going to wither and die and fall to the earth, mm -hmm. right? The mold's going to get out there, right? Mm -hmm. You know, right. the animal's going to get out there. Right. The bugs are going to come, mm -hmm. right? But what they're doing is they're re uh yeah. reinvigorating the land soil, yeah. Yeah. Rejuvenate. right rejuvenating, rejuvenating it. Yep. we don't do that anymore no nope. we 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 drive we drive the land so hard it becomes a dust bowl yeah yeah the all the nutrients out of the earth is destroyed and now you're going to become like idiocracy right yeah. or it becomes oversaturated with mm -hmm. too, much. too much and then it becomes things like landslides where the land's just falling apart yeah it's too much because the soil can't grip anymore you you don't run it over so much right so that's right. what that law is about now mm -hmm. as far as you not working no you got to work <laughs> yeah. just not on the seventh day you shall rest you understand king yeah, I got that, brother. Hey, thank you. Uh, thank you so much for the um, education. Appreciation. Read verse 12. Exodus 23 and 12. The book of Exodus chapter 23 and verse 12. Six days shalt thou do thy work, and on the seventh day thou shalt rest. See, that's for you. Come on. That thine ox and thine ass may rest, and the son of thy handmaid, and the stranger may be refreshed. Mm -hmm. Read on. Come on. And in all things that I have said unto you, be circumspect. Look around. And make no mention of the name of other gods, neither let it be heard out of thy mouth. I just want to teach this real quick because a brother came to me saying, damn, I can't even read certain scriptures because it has the name of another God. I said, ah, ah, no, ah. What he means is you worshiping. Yeah. You're, Men you're mentioning it in a, in a way to teach it, right. to reverence it. But if the Bible says something and mentions the name of another God, that's the word of the Lord. You, if he pronounced judgment, you have to say it. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, just for brothers. Brothers, he don't mean nothing by it. He's just trying to be righteous. Yeah, you know, yeah. getting yeah. his name was changed to a name that means destroyer of right. Baal. Yeah. So you got to to even say his name. Right. Jerubabo. Now, loving them kids to eternal life and not to death. Thanks for the great teachings. Uh, thank, you. thank you. Thank you. The water. Come here, all right. Um, so that's it, man. Uh, with that, we're going to close out the class a little uh, earlier tonight as we prepare for the burden of five points. We took a week off. We got to organize and get some things together. Mm -hmm. But I really hope y'all in, uh, enjoyed that uh, lesson tonight. All right. If y'all got other questions or lessons you're interested in us teaching, send an email to right. sons of thunder Israelites at gmail.com. And as we go through it, we will bring it out on class. As far as those that want to get the prayer, Salakia, as far as those that want to get the prayer, just make sure that when y'all call in, y'all phone is on mute. Call that number at the bottom of the screen. The Levites are going to send up the Lord's Prayer in the Hebrew. It's very spiritual. And that's how we bring in the Sabbath. We're going to bring this about the poison. About the poison. Uh, no. Okay. All right. He can pull it from the comments right there. So now, with that being said, we are the Sons of Thunder. It's our heart's prayer and desire for Israel that they might be saved, all right? Come you on. sisters, learn from Susanna. And remember, the only chance you got, parents, is to be righteous 
and teach your children the law of Moses. You husbands, it's the only chance you got. You wives, that's the only way you're going to be right. Right? With that said, Kwame Yashala. Kwame Yashala. Shalom. Shalom. All right. We love y'all, Israel. Thank you for joining the class. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching. You can support the body via Cash App or PayPal. You can also support the channel by joining our Patreon for exclusive videos and content that can't be found anywhere else. We're the Sons of Thunder. It's our heart's prayer and desire for Israel that they might be saved. Shalom. Shalom.